It took 11 hours to raise a million dollars. That is really a lot of money. Seems like Kickstarter has been a very good way for certain types of very culturally relevant things to become made that might not be made otherwise. If you look at the types of things that normally get a lot of buzz on Kickstarter, it's very much skewed to early to mid 20s people mostly male, quite often very nostalgic, stuff like that. In other words, culturally relevant. And Reading Rainbow fits exactly into all of these things. It aired certainly when I was growing up. I'm 24 now, and I don't remember the first time I ever watched Reading Rainbow. It's always just kind of been there as a you know part of my life that's taken for granted. So it's nostalgic. It's nostalgic for the correct age group, and it's kind of geeky given LeVar Burton's track record. Geeky is another thing that kind of equates to social relevance, at least on the internet, which is where all the Kickstarter stuff is. I'm just very happy that culturally relevant and genuinely awesome for the world are not mutually exclusive. As cool as crowdfunding can be, it has its limitations. First of all, the types of things that people believe they want and the things that they would actually be happy with don't always line up. So quite often things are probably overlooked that people would actually in reality really enjoy and sometimes things that people think they want that are actually in the end wholly unsatisfying, they get misrepresented by a Kickstarter. Also, culturally relevant is sometimes kind of the opposite of good for the world. You might have noticed if you've ever read the comments in pretty much any website ever, there's a lot of misogyny out there. And I think a good example of Kickstarter being used for things that aren't necessarily great is Mighty Number no. 9? 7? I forget. Basically, it's a Mega Man game even though people probably don't actually want to play new Mega Man games. I might be wrong about this, but I kind of think it's going to be one of those things that people think they want, but in the end isn't going to be satisfying. And among the people working on that, in fact, not even somebody working on the game, but somebody who was a community manager, basically means they monitor the forums, they do stuff like that. Nothing to actually do with creating this game. This person was kind of a feminist. Some people are. But once people figured that out, they started wanting their money back. Because one of the people not even directly involved in making the game would have liked to change the protagonist to a female. And nobody had any good reasons why that would be a bad thing. And nobody even really mentioned the fact that that wasn't even a possibility. People just got really angry and threw hissy fits, basically, in the way that people do online. So yeah, Kickstarter isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But I really like seeing it when it's at its best. And I think if the past couple days has been Kickstarter at the best it's ever been, and I think it's worth taking a moment to appreciate that. And I hope we get to see it a bunch more times in the future, but for now, I'm just happy it happened this time.